Hello students. Today we're going to talk about surface area and we're going to focus on rectangular prisms. But there are a couple of things that you need to know about surface area, remind yourself about surface area. And that's the two different parts of surface area. With surface area we have total surface area and we have lateral surface area. And I'll just put SA for surface area. And I'd like for you to kind of draw a line between those two because we're going to talk about both of them. Total surface area or surface area is the total surface area of the rectangular prism. That includes all six sides because all rectangular prisms have six sides. So um, all sides are included. With lateral surface area, lateral surface area only includes the four sides. It does not include the two bases, or what we would consider the top and the bottom. So it is the surface area without the two bases. Okay. Now there are formulas that we're going to use to find the surface area and the lateral surface area. The surface area formula for rectangular prisms is SA equals capital PH plus 2B. Now capital P, that might be new to you. Capital P stands for the perimeter of the base. So I'm going to write that down here. Perimeter of the base. H is the height of the prism. And we I'm not going to write that out because you know H is height. And then capital B is the area of the base. And you've known that one for a long time. That's not new. Okay? And since it's a rectangle you do link things with. So in order to find the total surface area, I find the perimeter of the base and multiply that by the height. And then I add two of the areas of the bases. Okay, and we'll get into more of that in a minute. Now for lateral surface area, since lateral surface area is the surface area without the two bases, then lateral area equals capital PH. Just capital PH. Because I don't include the two bases with lateral area, all I have to do is find the perimeter of the base and then multiply it by the height. And that's what I have. And we're going to look at some examples together. So here I have a rectangular prism. And the dimensions of the rectangular prism are 8 inches by 5 inches by 12 inches. And I want to find both the lateral area and the surface area. Remember, surface area is everything, and lateral is just the sides. It doesn't include the two bases. So let's start with the surface area. So we know that surface area equals capital P times H plus 2B. Now that's a formula that you need to know, but it's going to be on your formula chart, so you'll always have it with you when you need it. Okay, so I need to find the perimeter of the base. Now one thing that we talked about doing in class the other day is to make sure that you always highlight the base. So I'm going to highlight the base in this color blue. That's the base, and that's the base. And if I want to find the perimeter of that base, then to find the perimeter of that base, then I need to add all of the sides together, and there are four sides. I can only see two of them, so I know it's 8 plus 5 plus 8 plus 5. So in parentheses, I'm going to put 8 plus 5 plus 8 plus 5. Now, if you want to find the perimeter a different way, that's fine. You can do 16 plus 10 or whatever, but we just need to put in parentheses 8 plus 5 plus 8 plus 5 or whatever the perimeter is, and then multiply by the height. And the height is 12 plus 2 times, how do I find the area of the base? I multiply 8 times 5. And I'm just going to plug all of that into my calculator exactly what it looks like. Okay? So I'm going to get my handy dandy calculator. 8 plus 5 plus 8 plus 5 is 26 times 12 plus 2 times 40. Now, obviously, I don't have a calculator. I'm writing it out, and that's okay. Okay? And then 26 times 12 is 260, 312, if I'm not mistaken. If you use a calculator, you might find a different answer, but I think that's right. Because 260 plus 52, yeah, plus 80. Okay? And so 312 plus 80 is 392. So the surface area, the total surface area of this little uh, rectangular prism is 392. 
That's the total surface area. Now what if I wanted to define just the lateral area? Well, to find the lateral area, that's just capital PH. And we know that capital P is 8 plus 5 plus 8 plus 5. So we're going to do 8 plus 5 plus 8 plus 5 times 12. And when I do that, I've already calculated and I figured out it's 312. So the lateral area is 312. It's important that as you read problems and as you read instructions that you make sure that you understand whether you're finding lateral area or total surface area and then use the correct formula for that. So I have another rectangular prism here. Notice the dimensions are 10 by 4 by 4. And once again, remember that the first thing that we always want to do is to highlight the base of our rectangular prism. So I'm going to use red and I'm going to highlight the base there to there. Okay? So now I know which part is the base and I know which part is everything else. So for the first one, I'm going to find the lateral area first. So I'm going to say lateral area equals capital P H. And remember capital P stands for the perimeter of the base. So I have to find the perimeter of the base. Well, I know it's 10 and 4 and 10 and 4. And so 10 plus 10 is 20 and 4 plus 4 is 8. So I know that the perimeter is 28. Sometimes we can do it in our head. Sometimes we need to write it down. Whatever is best for you is good for me. And I'm going to multiply by that by the height, and the height is 4. Okay, so the lateral area equals 28 times 4. And 28 times 4 is 56, 112. So I know that the lateral area is 112. Now here's the cool thing about surface area. Over here I'm going to find the surface area. It equals capital PH plus 2B. The cool thing about finding the, surf the lateral area first is I already know what it is. So I can take this 112 and I can plug it into right here. We know that PH is 112 because we just found it over here. So now I have to add 2 times the area of the base. And we know that the area of the base is 10 times 4. So now we're just going to add the lateral plus the bases to get our total surface area. So we have 112 plus 2 times 40, which is 112 plus 80. And 112 plus 80 is 192. So the total surface area equals 192. Once again, using our formula, plugging in the numbers, and I think you'll agree that this is a whole lot easier than trying to find the area of each one of those faces and add them all together. So here we go. In just a second, you're going to get a practice problem to practice finding the lateral area and the surface area, and then we'll do lots of examples in class together. So here's your practice problem. I have a rectangular prism. Dimensions are 5, 4, and 3. And I want you to find the lateral area and the surface area. Remember the formula for lateral area is capital PH. And the formula for surface area is capital PH plus 2 times capital B. Please show me your numbers. Yeah, I know you're going to use a calculator if you need to, but please show me your numbers. Write down your numbers, fill them in, and then take a picture of your practice problem submitted through Edmodo. That way I can see what you know, and we'll go over this more in class.